Good morning everybody. This is the e-content video production of Six Beards Sonnet. Shall I compare thee to your summer day, Sonnet 18? Now, let us pass on to the introduction. Sonnet 18 is one of the best known of the Van Pettico sonnets, which was written by the English playwright and poet William Shakespeare. Shakespeare's sonnets are world renowned and was published in his quarto in 1609. The first Van Twenty-six sonnets are addressed to a young man, Mr. W. H., and the last 28 are addressed to a woman, a dark lady. It covers the themes such as the passage of time, mortality, love, beauty, infidelity, and jealousy. Now, let us pass on to the sonnet and its structure. Sonnet means a little song. The sonnet has 14 lines. There are different types of sonnets, such as the Trajan sonnet, Shakespearean sonnet, and Spenserian sonnet. Shakespeare's sonnets have three quaternions and a couplet, and the couplet sums up the entire theme. Sonnet 18 represents the typical English sonnet, which is also called Shakespearean or Elizabethan sonnet. It has the rhyme scheme A B A B C D C D E F E F D G, and it was dedicated to Mr. W H. Now, let us pass on to the brief summary of the sonnet 18. Shall I compare thee to your summer's day, thou art more lovely and more temperate? Rough winds do shake the darling buds of May, and summer's leaves take all too sharp a date. Sometimes too hard the eye of heaven shines, and often is his gold complexion dimmed, and every fair from fair sometimes declines, by chance a nature of changing course and trend. But thy eternal summer shall not fade, nor lose possession of that fair thou owest, nor shall death brag thou wanderers in its shape, then in eternal lines to find thou growest. So long as men can breathe, or eyes can see, so long lives this, and this gives life to thee. The speaker begins the sonnet with a passion, addressed to his beloved, Shall I compare thee to your summer's day? The opening line reflects the speaker's uncertainty as he attempts to compare his beloved to a summer day. The second line reveals his beloved is more beautiful, lovely, attractive, and more moderate, gentle nature. So the speaker is in dilemma whether he could compare his lady love to summer or not. He resolves and then compares his friend to summer, which he finds it as suitable. The next line, the speaker has personified summer as the violent summer, whose winds are fair to him, the beautiful new flower. And he also argues that it will not last long. The season summer is only for a short period. And once again, he uses the personification that sun as eye of heaven. The sun can be too hard as well as too dimmed. So the poet refers the sun as the eye of the heaven and the golden face of the sun as his gold complexion. The lines three to eight talk about the ups and downs of the weather. The speaker suggests that for most of the people, the summer season will pass quickly. 
and they will grow old and their beauty will fade away with the season. The next few lines talk about how the speaker praises the beauty of his beloved and how the beauty of things declines with time. He lists the shortcomings of the season sun. The lines 9 to 12 tell us that the speaker states with the renewed assurance that thy eternal summer shall not fade. Similarly, his beloved shall stay fair and even can cheat death and time by being eternal. The line 11 reveals the idea of a command for death to remain silent. Lines 13 and 14 reinforce the idea that the poet's poem will assure that his beloved remains young and the written works will become their breath and vital energy to live their life. His lips Excuse me. His love will live forever. Sonnet 18 covers the themes such as art and immortality, passage of time, role of nature, nature and poetry, art as a reservoir. I hope this e-content video production will be helpful for you to learn in a better way. Thank you.